TPM like TP millions, you think? Moving the trees, how much is it? $19.99. I think I can do that. A couple golf clubs. I want to see if we can do a deal if I do both. If I buy both. What do we got? 16. Haven't been here in a while. Let's see what we can grab. Was hoping to find something good, but it's looking like a lot of the same old stuff. It's a putter. TPM. TPM seven. TPM like TP Mills, you think? TP Mills putter? Could be, right? I honestly think that's what the TPM. I don't know if you can even see it. Come on, better lighting. Let me see if there's anything else too before I go. But I think that's what the TPM stands for. Spalding, yeah, I think he made Spalding putters. I think TP Mills made Spalding putters. So this might be pretty good. Their putters, their clubs here are only $3, so I'm definitely going to check it out, try it. No clue if it's even worth anything, but, you know, Stack the Golf has taught me that there is some value in some old clubs. That guy, John, he knows everything, so... Really cool guy. Big fan of that channel, by the way. If anyone, I'm sure most of you guys watch that channel already, but super fun channel. Is this a title list? Is this a title list? It's got the triangle. It's got a true temper shaft. It's gotta be, right? No. Mod. Progressive offset oversized. Do you think that means that he hit it 120 yards? And it's 3 iron? No way, right? But you guys tell me. TP Mills? We'll see. When I get home, but sure does look like it to me. <clears throat> oh. Somebody was somebody was here. There's a lot of stuff. Again, I haven't been out in a few weeks, so there's a lot of stuff here. Ooh, nice little Titleist bag. It's almost like a Sunday bag. Like just like a little bag to take out. Looks good. Very clean, red, white, and blue. Zipper works there. Zippers work everywhere. Has the cover. Very nice. Nice little Sunday bag, red, white, and blue. Moving the trees, how much is it? $19.99. I think I can do that. There's a lot of clubs here. A little overwhelmed. There is... There is this full snake eye set. Super clean, to be honest with you. I haven't seen a snake eye set in a long time. These faces are tiny. Pro Force Gold Stiff Leg Shafts. Oof. The grips are gone though. Little Snake Eyes logo on the grip. Very clean. Eight bucks a club is a little pricey. And those grips are gone. There's a couple nice grips in here. Let's see this one. Lamar Iron. It's been, that one's been re -gripped. Another one right here. Same thing, Olimar. And this is like, just 
trying not to break anything. Bristol 9 iron. Nothing I can really grab from here. Honestly, a lot of stuff. But nothing I can really grab. Well, I have you guys here. I don't want to put the bag towards the flip budget because I know I'm going to sell this bag on a local marketplace or possibly give it to my dad if he wants it. We'll see. But we did end up selling though that Nike Sumo 2 or Sasquatch wood set from the last video. They ended up selling for $150 plus tax. So they came out to $164.63. But minus all the fees and minus the shipping, what I actually got back was $100.66. So plus we had $19 and some change from the last video. So that puts us at $119.84 to get this video going with the flip budget. Let's see if I can go out there and find something. See what we got here. Adam's ball. Got some red gunk on there though. Grips are good. Oh, hi, but oh. Oh, this might be a set. Pitching wedge. Nine iron. Eight iron. A little fur and a little gunk. Looks like it cleaned off though. Thirty nine iron. Nine pieces, so one, two, three. Four, one, two, four, five, six. So this is missing a seven iron. And it's left handed. Seven iron is a pretty important club. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pass. I mean, for 40 bucks it's a good deal, but I just think it's gonna be so hard to find a left handed seven iron. But it is a good deal. Hey. Couple golf clubs. I want to see if we could do a deal if I do both. If I buy both. What do we got? Sixty and eighty. Um, Ten dollars off each one, so twenty bucks off. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Right, thank you. So fifty and say one twenty plus tax. Now hang on. Well, let me see what we got. Eighty and sixty.
one ten plus tax out the door. Okay, I could do that. Okay. Appreciate you. you bet. Nineteen sixty three with tax included. Okay. Man, I really think that was a good deal. That was pretty nice, guys. The Epic Flash. It's a 13.5 degree in some really good condition and it has a hazardous smoke shaft in it. So really good. Also got this Mizuno ST190. Not in uh, the best of shape, but not terrible either. Gotta get this. He wrote his like serial number on it. So gotta get that off, but Man, I think that was a really good deal. 119 for the two. Let's keep getting after it. Let's keep looking. through a lot of this but I can't really find anything that's of any value they have a Cobra ladies set it's a lot of stuff I saw last time they have these pink titanium titleist driver a ton of putters but which usually putters are hard to find but I've been seeing a lot of putters today but just nothing Nothing worth grabbing. Mm Thank you. You all set? Yeah. Appreciate you guys for watching the video. Wanted to go over that last section a little bit more because obviously it was pretty quiet in there. 
I don't like to get too loud in that store. First, let me start off with the TP Mills. Someone just tell me if this is TP Mills. Tell me if this is authentic. That's all I'm really looking for. It's a super nice putter. Doesn't sell for a whole lot, but it looks to be real to me. Let me know if this is a TP Mills putter in the comments below. Secondly, went to a pawn shop and I found our next clubs that we're gonna be using for the road to the ping driver. We found this Mizuno ST190 and this Epic Flash Callaway 3 Woods. Two super good clubs. They're still selling for a good amount of money. He gave me a really good deal. He gave me some discounts on the clubs. We are at zero dollars on the budget. I got three clubs that I can sell. The Epic Flash, the Mizuno, or the Nike Covert Hybrid that we got a couple weeks ago still hasn't sold. We'll keep it moving. We'll see where we can get after these three clubs. Then I went into my favorite secondhand golf shop. They had some deals. They had this Ping G Series SF Tech driver. It was only $75. I seen some of them are still selling for about $150, but it does depend on what shaft you have in it. Also had a Ping G33 wood. This one, I believe it was $45, but I'm not 100% sure. I just know it was a good deal. And then something I kind of took a chance on, these Cleveland black, I had a, they had a driver and a three wood. They both were not marked with a price, which usually means $20. But <clears throat> I thought that was a little suspicious, so I asked him, hey, what were you trying to price these at? And he was like, I don't know. I think the sticker probably fell off. He's like, I'll just do them for 30 a piece. So he gave me the driver and the three wood 30 a piece, $60 for both. Couldn't pass that deal up. What I ended up doing, because this three wood, I haven't seen it selling a lot on eBay. I just packaged them together. I put the driver with the three wood one price. We'll see how it turns out. I'm pretty excited about it. Obviously, I didn't have money left in the budget, so those last four clubs are not going to count. We're going towards our ping driver, but it's okay. I think we're okay with what we got, and it's going to be a fun week. Once again, really appreciate you guys for watching the video. It's been an absolute blast going to yard sales today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.